London's just so diverse. Like you've got from like modern buildings to old buildings, you've got all different kinds of streets, um, mainly the people. There's a lot of good shooters here. Everyone's really helpful, a lot of friendly people. So it's always good to get out, meet new people, find new locations. I got into photography at university. We spent probably about two weeks learning it. And the guy that taught us showed me a few shots that I kind of thought I can do better than that. Like, I really like them. And it went from there. I got my first DSLR and then the back really carried on shooting from there. Second year of university, that's when I started to see more photography being in a creative course. There's a few people that were like, dabbling around with cameras. Um, they taught us a little bit about it. And from there, I was just inspired by a few certain pictures that I'd seen people took. And I thought, I want to go out and try and do better or even get to that level. And just from there, I, was, I just took it from there, really. I've just created my Facebook page for my photography which hasn't really up and running yet so hopefully that'll I'll start posting to that soon but mainly I'll use Instagram which I post on every day it's the best way to communicate with people meet new people and get noticed really so the community is really good most people are friendly and helpful um, you can always learn from other people. It's nice to go out and shoot with different people. Like you might see one shot and someone takes it at a different angle and it completely changes it. So it's always nice to like, bounce ideas off each other and see other people's, how they see the world through their cameras. For getting good pictures, I wouldn't say it's necessarily about the equipment. There's like a lot of great photographers that just use their phone. I think it's just about just keep shooting. Like you'll notice, even if you spend like 10 hours in one day shooting, You'll notice from the start to the end, your pictures probably get better. That's how I've always learned to just keep shooting and you'll see the like, progress that come with it. My motivation is probably mainly just seeing people enjoy my work. Like, it's not necessarily about the money, but whenever you do a shoot for someone and you show them your own product, seeing their reaction, how happy they are, that's like the best thing for me. Or when you get that perfect shot that you like and you know you've done well, like that feeling that you get at the end of it, that's what makes me keep shooting.